Oh my god, girl, Paris Hilton's ring looks so good on you. Oh my god, girl, really? Yeah. Oh my god, look at that clothing. Oh my god, it's so cute. So cute. OMG, look at that. <laughs> that looks so cute on you. I know, right? Two and two on two, I'm the uptown hey, nigga. You know what's up or don't you? Word of who made you? I'm a rude bitch, nigga. What are you made of? Oh, no. Food up, Hello everyone, this is 22 Tiger Dude, and I'm here to review The Bling Ring. So The Bling Ring stars Emma Watson, Leslie Mann, and all the other actors I'm not very familiar with, to be honest. But the story is actually based on true events about these girls and one dude that sneak into these celebrities' homes and steal their valued possessions, such as jewelry and really all that other stuff. So going into the bling ring, it is directed by Sofia Coppola, and I wasn't hating on how the movie looked, but I just wasn't very interested in seeing it. I did get this movie from Netflix, so I could finally give it a chance, and the bling ring, it's unique in its style, but overall, I gotta say, it's okay. The bling ring definitely kept my interest in certain moments, but it also really lost me in other moments. Now, first thing I gotta bring up about this movie is how the reviews are saying how these girls and the guy are bad actors. I just want to address something. You gotta remember... This is based on a true story. These characters are the ones that say stuff like OMG and oh my god. Like kinda like what I did with my intro for this movie review. You know, they say they say lines like that. You know, that's how they talk in this generation. So the actors weren't bad. They just had to portray for what the characters were. And for me, I actually thought the actors did do a good job actually portraying those kind of characters that talk like that. All the actors do a really good job. Emma Watson does a really good job. And surprisingly, I wouldn't say she's the star of the movie, but she's definitely in the movie enough. Leslie Mann plays Emma Watson's mom, and I actually thought she did a good job. She added some humor to the movie. I just thought she did a really good job with her character. This movie at times actually made me quite mind blown because you just can't believe that these girls and that one guy actually sneak into their houses, actually get away with this kind of crime for a while, and you kind of question, do these celebrities have alarms or anything? It actually kind of scared me because that was true. That actually happened. It's really more style over substance. Sofia Coppola focuses more on making the movie so stylistic rather than trying to give the characters some more depth or maybe try to add in a little bit information to the story. And don't get me wrong, some of the style she does, like when it's all slow-mo or there's music playing, it is cool, but other times it just feels repetitive very tiresome and I just feel like some of those stylistic moments that she does doesn't serve a purpose for the movie it's just her to go okay here's a story oh look at that style look it's all slow-mo oh look Emma Watsi's dad's in slow-mo which I'm not complaining about because that's really that was really fun to watch but it's all like when the movie does that like basically every few minutes yeah, you just lose my interest. And then there are moments where the film does drag on. For example, you'll see characters on the webcam, that same angle, for like, what, 45 seconds, a minute, and it just kind of drags on, and I'm just all like, okay, just cut to the next scene. I want to actually get more involved in the storyline. Unfortunately, I don't think they really get on point with the overall story until, like, the final 20 minutes where the stylistic stuff actually stops and we're getting somewhere with the story and what's happening to these girls and the guy. And I did kind of feel like it was a little bit choppy in its execution and even some of the editing here and there. Overall, the bling ring did keep me very interested and highly invested in some moments, but other moments, it felt repetitive, it felt tiresome, it felt like the movie was focusing more on style over substance. So the bling 
Ring is not a film I could watch again. I did overall appreciate and respect what Sofia Coppola was going for, but at the end of the day, I wouldn't really say it's my kind of cup of tea, so I'm going to give The Bling Ring an okay average 2.5 out of 4 stars. I am 22 Tiger Dude! Don't forget that I will always have Tiger Power!